I'm going to show you the easiest way to burn a DVD straight from a folder or a file on your computer to a DVD in like three steps using Windows Live Movie Maker. Okay, so step one is you want to open Windows Live Movie Maker. So once you're in Windows Live Movie Maker, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to open the folder where the media file that you want to put in there is located at. So for this, the, just the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to use uh, we're gonna use my uh, one of my Adobe my After Effects uh, intros. Okay. Okay. So then you're gonna drag your media file into there. I think my my video for this video tutorial is 26 seconds long, but in your own your own media file could be up to whatever your uh, DVD can handle, which would be um, like two hours usually or an hour and a half. Okay. So then you're gonna do is you're gonna want to hit DVD. And so what it's going to have to do first, which once it does, it'll ask you to put the DVD in once it's done what encoding. Because first it needs to encode it into that file format. So basically you just hit say um, whatever you want it to be called and then you have to remember where it goes. So it pretty much will go into whatever folder you specify. Because I guess suppose you could specify also over here. Okay, so uh, so you type in what the, the title is going to be, and then you can select where you want to put it, and I want to put it actually, I'll just stick it on my desktop, I throw everything on my desktop. So basically that's just going to encode the movie. Okay, so it's done encoding, and so then you're going to want to hit next. There's certain styles you could put in there. I basically just like to put nothing in there, or you could, we'll just stick this in there for example. You don't have to put anything in there, and uh, basically, if you want to change the text, you go here, you do the DVD title, you can title it whatever you want, we're going to call it Tut, and then, you know, and then it's like, uh, here in the play button, it's basically, you can change the text that's going to be in there. Ooh. So, you're going to hit, here in the play button, you can make it say whatever you want to say. So basically, blah, 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 blah. and then in the scenes buttons, you can make that say whatever you want it to. So, blah, 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 blah. and then over here in the notes buttons, you can make that say whatever. Blah, 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 blah. And there you go. And then here you go. Blah, 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 blah. And there you go. You can change the fonts right here. You can change it to whatever you'd like. Okay, you could do some other customizations like customize menu. You know, you could get really into it if you want to. But if you just want to burn a quick DVD, then that's it. You can stick a slideshow in there that'll play through your your intro of the DVD. Basically, that's what we'll be playing in there. And uh, and yeah. Okay. So, and then you're going to want to hit burn. You stick the DVD in there and you can see that it is encoding... finish okay and it did finish so it made our DVD now we're gonna test it out so I'm just sticking it back in the drive I'm gonna close this out okay so let's see there's our DVD and there it is and there's the thumbnail which it'll probably scan through a couple of different things and so basically then you would just hit play and there it is thank you for watching subscribe and like